Now at 5.30, Orange County is still waiting to find out when it gets the next shipment of the vaccine. At the same time, preparations are underway to get those qualified in the next tier when and how to get them vaccinated. That includes teachers, child care providers, and food industry workers. NBC4's Vicki Vargas with details for us. Here's what the county has said. When they get the next shipment of vaccines, they will start using 30% of those for essential workers. And it's not just teachers. Sarah Romero says on any given day, she preps and hands out 300 lunches at Willard Intermediate School. The campus is closed. All classes are online. But in her job, she still comes in contact with hundreds of parents and children every day who show up for this meal program. But it has to be done. We have to be here for our community. These are the workers next in line to get vaccinated. They handle and distribute food. They help students who have come to use the Internet in classroom learning labs. And they know their chance of contracting COVID-19 goes up the more they interface with students. Santa Ana Unified has no plans yet to bring its 46,000 students back because of high virus positivity rates. We need to be protected, definitely, because if we are not protected, then our kids are not protected, and that's, the, that's number one for me. By mid-April, the Orange County Department of Education hopes to have seven specific vaccination sites up and running, each capable of handling 500 school employees a day. They will use a separate computer link than the public registration site. But it is all contingent on supply. County officials say they have enough of the Pfizer vaccine to keep Soka University open two more days. For now, Disneyland will remain closed. Melinda Sandoval was exposed to the virus last year and had to quarantine. Despite the recent delivery setback, she says it's good to hear vaccines are on the horizon. It's still hope, you know, knowing that soon, eventually we'll be back to some sort of normalcy and, you know, children and families will be able to feel safe. On average, the county has been receiving about 37,000 doses per week. Setting aside 30% of those would mean 11,000 vaccinations. In Santa Ana, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.